Hello fellow captains and welcome to the channel, my name is Phoenix and today we will be going over the ship design and final thoughts of the Eclipse Intel Cruiser. Beginning with the ship design, I can say that I really enjoy the sleekness of this ship. The saucer section is a diamond shape with a low profile compared to other cruisers. The underside of the saucer section has a long bulge which goes from secondary hull to the deflector dish. The deflector dish itself is small, like that of the Sovereign class. But this deflector dish is squared rather than the circle or oval shape like most ship classes have. The secondary hull is quite small, similar to the Constellation class. The top half of the secondary hull houses the bridge and closer to the aft section is the active sensor array. The rear shuttle bay is located on the upper aft of the secondary hull. In the middle you have four torpedo tubes, two on each side, and on the bottom half you have two impulse engines. The Eclipse is one of the few Federation ships that have four warp nacelles. You have four pylons, two on top of the secondary hull and two on the lower secondary hull. The warp nacelles of the Eclipse conform to the sleek design of the ship. The pylons attach to the warp nacelles at the Bissar collectors and the warp nacelles are long and flat unlike most Federation ships where the nacelles are usually a lot wider both in height and width. Overall the sleek and low profile of the ship is a welcome change from that of other Federation cruisers. In conclusion, the Eclipse Intel Cruiser is a fun ship to fly, but there are some things about this ship I wish I could change. Let me start by dealing with those issues. The console can only be used with this particular ship and its fleet version. I don't believe this console should be ship locked as, it, as I can see the benefits of using this console on other ships and builds. Another change that I wish they could do is switching the Lieutenant Commander Engineering Bridge Officer Station to a Lieutenant Commander seat instead. I think this would give better options for bridge officer abilities. The console setup is okay, but I would like an extra tactical slot. The battle ready mastery is decent for tank builds, but not that great. I know this is a bit nitpicky, but for some reason this cruiser has 3 slots instead of 4. Like most cruisers, and I'm not sure why this is. Now time to talk about the good things about this ship. The structural integrity field siphon is a good console for those that have a tank build. But again, I'm disappointed with the fact that it is locked to this ship. Finally, I think the best part of the ship is the internal cloaking device. While it's not a battle cloak, the fact that I don't have to purchase another ship like the Galaxy X or Defiant and have to use a console slot for the cloaking device makes this all the more enjoyable. That is going to be it for today's video, and as always, I'd love to hear from you. Do you have this ship? Do you like it? Why or why not? Also, did you like how I broke down this review into three separate parts? Let me know your answers or any questions you have down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. Live long and prosper, and I'll see you out there.